Hello guys! Hello! We are filming from... High up! Not yet. <laughs> we are filming from Lisa Bay. See you left? Yeah. Uh, wait, I will turn on the second camera. We're gonna have two cameras today. So, what we're doing is a resume from our Costa trip. Yeah. So it's basically a um, Q&A because you have been um, uh, asking us questions. Yes. And we have some... So we thought it was time for us to answer them. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, so we asked for some extra questions mm. and we have quite a bit. Yeah, we yeah. do. And thank you for that, by the way. Yes, thank you so much. And where is a better place to do it? Than inside an amusement park. Yeah. So, you can see it's moving behind us. Yeah, We're here we go. Up. No idea how tall it is. I have nothing, I have nothing for you about the uh, this device unit. One. Two, three. Anyway, here comes a first question from Victor Estin. Thank you very much. So, Sarah, out of all the rides you did on this trip, which would you most like to see at your home park, Lisbeth, where we are now? But it's a condition. Only a ride that could actually fit in the park. So it has to be a realistic. Okay, but but I think my favorite one is um, uh, the ride to happiness. Yeah. And if I want to, I think I think it would fit. <laughs> I uh, think it could fit here. You could fit it, yes. Yeah. If uh, it's not like very big, big so. Uh, yeah, I think it would fit. I would love to have a uh, Mack Ride it's Extreme Spinning Coaster. Mm. I agree. That would be great. It's really, really hard for me. Yeah. Uh, I really like how the ride, but we have butlers, we have a wooden coaster. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I would also put the ride to happiness, I think. But maybe we'd, we would need like a wild mouse. mouse. A wild mouse. Mm. That would. Dwerbel wind would be fun. That, yeah. that would be a great ride and in the park. Great colors for this park. Yeah, it, it would, would be. Great. be. Uh, hmm. Yeah, this yeah. is it's a great question. Great question. Really good. Uh, but I would say if I could wish, like for whatever I want, I would go for the ride to happiness because mm -hmm. that could actually fit in the park. Yeah. I also have another one that I would like to put in the park, but it won't fit right now. And it's. That would be uh, Silver Star. Si yeah. I of course. love I th I Silver Star. I thought you would say uh, Hangover again. A Hangover? Hangover. Oh, yes. <laughs> that, that would be an option. That would be a really cool mo moment. Yeah, that would be nice. Okay, okay back, back home. Yeah. <laughs> no. Thank you, Victor. That's It's going to yes. take us quite some time. Yeah. Um, I was a thinker. Yeah. Okay, then we have a question. Oh, we have plenty, but one yeah. from mm -hmm. Christian S. And also, Christian, mm -hmm. he has he's a great follower. All yeah. of you are great, by the way. Sorry for yeah. that. But Christian also has coasters of merch. Yes. So he yes. has merchandise. That is yeah. really cool. So, best way to travel between parks? Cars? Yeah, by car. Yeah. Simple. Europe, uh, the Europe's park, like they are not made for. Like, it's not great flying, no. because then you need a rental car. It's not great to be trained, because you're gonna need transportation. And it all takes the time. a long time to take train and buses yes. and stuff. So car, I think, is the best way. I think so, yeah. I really think so. Uh, I would go with, uh, with car. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, park hotel or outside? Ooh, if I had a lot of money, Easy. I would buy <laughs> <laughs> always stay on the park hotel because oh, yeah. they are so amazing themed and it's so nice but we had a budget <laughs> so <Yes>, we, <did. laughs> we, we were staying at hotels outside i agree uh, park hotel if yeah. we could choose we can't so outside okay. uh, we what we did was that we were we tried to drive by night after visiting visiting an amusement park so we didn't have to go up early in the morning oh. so we were so don't get stuck in traffic jams. We kind of tried to be as close to the park as we could. Yeah, so we didn't uh, need to drive in the morning like two hours and wake up at five. Exactly, yeah. exactly. I'm not sure if we're gonna go on our Madelon or if this is it. One more. Yeah, I hope one more. Okay, uh, next question, still from Christian though, we have plenty of questions here. Which is the best park for theming fans? Fantasia Land. Yeah. 
we agree on that. Yeah. When it comes to theming, that's yeah. Uh, that just blow me away. It was and amazing fantastic. park. It is. Oh. It is so good. I saw that uh, Coaster Studios yeah. was there like a couple of days ago. Oh. I got so jealous. Oh. So so jealous. But I will add a twist to that. Biggest surprise in theming, park wise. Efteling. Efteling? Yeah, I think yeah. no, Toverland. 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 That's Toverland. what I would say. I thought so. But Efteling was very nice too. I, I haven't seen anything from that park, so yeah. that surprised me. It was very nice. It yeah. is great one. Okay, best coaster on the trip? The ride to happiness. <laughs> it's simple. I love it. I still love it. Yeah. But again, biggest surprise for me is still Tikiwaka Did at Belaware the Park. Yeah. Um, it was great. This Gerstlauer family coaster is yeah. fantastic. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the view here, we just before, we really need to show this. Do you see Helix down there? And Valkyria dropping at the same time. It's just fantastic. Very so much cute. fun. Uh, anyway, I think this is going to be our last lap here. Yeah. So I think that's the last question for now. Uh, but we will get back to you from another place, other, <laughs> from somewhere else inside of this valley. I really hope you enjoy this because this is strange. We've never done this before. Hope you like it. So it's a VR ride, but only this year. Uh, I don't. Not everyone has VR on them, though. So yeah, you can choose. No idea if it's good. Let's see if we try it later. There we go. Bye bye, guys. In between the questions, I need to show you. This is a station build of Luna, the new roller coaster, the Vekoma family boomerang coming here uh, in next season, 2023. And did you see how close Lisebay Bonan goes to this station? It's going to be fantastic. By the way, the oh, here comes Lisebay Bonan again. Anyway, the lift hill is gonna go up here. That's gonna be so much fun. Before we continue again, we need to look at this. We are entering Luna Park. Look at all the lights here. And they have plenty of them. And this is, by the way, Tempus. Over there is Turbo. The amazing new rides. And then Luna, as we, I just told you, the spike is going to end up right up here, close to the moon. So all the light bulbs are in now, in all the arches and that. Wasn't when we were here the first time in April for the opening of Luna Park. And this looks fantastic. I am honestly waiting for it to be dark outside yeah, so, I, so we can film it. Never get dark in the summer. <laughs> no, but Sweden. the park is open until 11. So, so soon, very soon, it's gonna get dark. And we will come here with the other camera and film some real night shots here of Luna Park. This is the Forbidden Garden. I think we're gonna go down there and answer some of your questions. Okay, for the next question, we are in the Forbidden Forest. And Sarah? Yes. This one is hard, I have no idea. Best food in a park. Best food in the park. Best food in a park. I have no in idea. Park, yeah. I, I'm park. saying right away, I have very simple. I would say the roller coaster restaurant at, at the Ropa Park because the salmon did a loop. It did. Yeah. It was great. Too. Yeah. Was yeah. it the best food? Maybe not, but. But we had a very nice burger at the. Um, uh, we were in Rijdeconda. Uh, oh, you're right, Ned. Valibi Belgium next Valibu. to uh, next to Conda. Yes, and we got the Conda mugs. You're you're yeah, right. That, that burger was, was that was that fast was food, nice. but it was really good. Was nice. I would say the roller coaster restaurant just because yeah. the food did a loop. I yeah, love that. Yeah, yeah, I agree too. Absolutely. Again, thank you, Christian, for your question. Thank you. Soon, the next one. We made this only. For this question, oh my god, why? Why did we do this? Christian, this is only for you. No, it's not it's for everyone, but Christian, you asked the question. This is completely your fault. This is Sarah's idea, so almost a little bit of her fault. Anyway, we're in Sweden. It's warm. Believe it or not, we have summer, so I need to go with the close top t-shirt. I'm so afraid that it's gonna flash water on us. I'm sitting here like no. Okay, anyway, here we go. I, will, I want you to answer this question first, okay. and then I'm gonna do it. What is the reason to mix coasters and water? That's why we're sitting under the flume ride. It's so chilling. If you're gonna get wet or not, it's a. Ah! It's a what? It's gonna be very chilling. 
It's so nice. Do you like yeah. the feeling that you don't like you're gonna wet on a yes, roller coaster? Yes, I do. Amen. <laughs> okay, for me, I understand the concept. I understand what you're going for. Like you want to do something different, you use the add a cook. Add water to a coaster. <laughs> and sometimes you just add coaster to water because you basically just jump into a pool. But no, no, everyone stop what you're doing. Rethink, remove the water, and just have, let us have roller coasters. Is Thank it you. No, it's not. Thank you for the question though. Yes, good question. Yeah, really good. Okay guys, we are in a new spot again. We are in Kanilandsbanan. Hello, Boya. Yeah. Hello, Boya. He's gonna talk to us, but anyway, we're gonna talk louder. So we have another question, the last one from Christian, and that is, how much money do you need to spend on a coaster trip like we did in May? So the honest answer is, it's pretty hard to tell you. Uh, but in yes, general, because we ate a lot of hotels before we go on the trip. Yeah. And then it was like. But we do have an estimate and we have been calculating a little bit. So it's around in, uh, hotels and entrance to the parks was around 1000 euros. Uh, so that is quite low, it's to be low. honest, with 18 parks. Yeah. Uh, also, I have to tell you that we did buy a Plopsa fan card, which gave us. Uh, free access to Plopsa, free access to Holiday Park, and it gave us like 50% off in plenty of parks on the trip. So, uh, we had help with that. Yeah, and that's a good thing to do if you are doing this trip exactly. with those parks. And we did the work for you, so do go and buy the Plopsa Fun Card if you want to travel in Europe. It also gives you a free access to Lisbon one time per year. We have the annual pass here, but it still gives you one free visit. So that's a good tip for you. We do have a question from Isabel from the Netherlands. Hello Isabel, this is a question from you. Uh, it's not one question, but are you ready? What are your most liked parts and most disliked part? So the part you like the most and the one you disliked the most. That is a very hard question because yes, it is. I love like, I have my top threes. Yeah, parts. yeah. Uh, can I say my top threes? Say them. Okay. Uh, I would say uh, Europa Park yep. on third place. Yep. Number two is uh, Toverland. Yes. And num number one is uh, Fantasia Land. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I would do my liked parks. Yeah. I have the same as you, so we are very synced there. Europa Park, we have to Toverland, and the best one is Fantasia Land. So most liked park, Fantasia Land. My disliked park. The one I disliked the most was honestly movie part. Well, mine too. And I think because I had a little bit too high expectations. Yeah, me too. You had the same? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I thought it would be like amazing part and it was like being like a, yeah. being in a movie or something. But it's, it's sad that it doesn't join us. Uh, yeah. So that's yeah. yeah. But still. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a nice park. It's still a nice park. Yeah, of the park we did on the trip, yeah. it was the least best. Yeah. Also, look at this. This is a max outdoor serving where you can watch all of Bunnyland here. Uh, thank you for those questions, uh, Isabel. We know that you have one more, uh, but we are going to take that in another place. In another place in the park. So, yeah, stay tuned. Watch the full video. And again, subscribe, comment, and all of those things because, yeah, that's, that would be really fun. Uh, we would much appreciate it. And it's still free. We don't charge anything for that. No questions right now. We are taking a lunch break. I'm, I ordered a currywurst and you had a... Churito. Churito. No, 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 no. I think the... Oh, what they call it? Is like Frankfurt or something. Ah, uh, Frankfurt. Yeah. Yeah. No idea what that is, but yeah, that's what you took. We also got some beers and uh, this is just a break in our Q&A or resume of our coaster trip. That we did in May. Enjoying this great view here at Bilbao and Sky. Okay, so that's the uh, end of my curryburst and your Frankfurt. Um, 
honestly, uh, this is only for you, Isabel, uh, because you said you wanted more food vlogs. So we are adding a bit of food vlog in the Q&A, only for you. Uh, and yes, we have not forgotten about your last question, and we're gonna let you know about that in just a little bit. What our thoughts are on that one? After this one. After this one. Uh, yeah, after that one. Oh my God. Sarah, did you decide? The, uh, did you decide? Did you survive the bee? I did. Yeah, you did. It was almost that I didn't. Yeah. Uh, I have to tell you that the currywurst uh, or the meal that we had was uh, eight euros each, but something else. I would never, in my sane mind, stand in that line over there, all of this in here, for to ride Flume Ride. So these people are standing like that to get wet. I'm sorry guys, but no, not a chance. I would rather ride Aerospin. But let's say that Flume Ride is an amazing ride. It's amazing. It is amazing, it's really nice, but no. Here's the great hotel, by the way, opening very, very soon. Professional. Professional. <laughs> it's very professional. Yes. Okay, guys, we're back. Yes. We are now located on top of the Max outdoor area. Yeah. So this is if you uh, go up the uh, Max restaurant. Uh, no, not the one of the Max restaurants. I haven't one. been here. Exactly. You never. It's nice. These parks have so many things yeah. to see, and it's so much fun. Anyway, we are. In the max uh, that is very close to Farfarsbilar. Uh, as you can see behind us, we have Canon landed, and this is another spot that we staked out for you. And the park is fully booked, but we can still find these things, which is uh, pretty cool, yeah. to be honest. It's great. That would never happen before. Again, Isabel, this is a uh, the, the last question yep. from you. So, Sarah, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. It's kind of fun. Okay. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm looking for it, sorry. It's going great. <laughs> Which... I'm sorry that you heard Yona in the background. She joined us in the park. That's quite fun. Hola! <laughs> uh, okay, so which roller coaster yeah. on the trip, out of all of them, do you think should have a new theme and why? Oh, great question! I know, it's awful! It's great, thank you very awful. much, Isabel. I think it's great! <laughs> It's no, it's awful in the way that I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know either, but I'm thinking. I'm thinking the right to have a name. Yeah. Kidding. No. You would change the meaning of that one. No. <laughs> exactly. No, 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 no. Exactly. Yo, I was about to say that uh, the Virbelwind at Toverland. I like that ride so much. Yes. But the theming, yeah, it's very nice because it's very coloring and it's like it's nice at the station. Yeah, the station is fantastic yeah. with all the, uh, the the plants and yeah. that. Yes. But I could do it a little bit different. Okay. I would do it like what more would you do? Like um, I don't know, like a, have a more story, have more like a they they could do it right. Okay, so make it more into a whole experience. Yeah. The music is fantastic on yeah, that, by the way. I, lo I watch that PUV from time yeah. to time, used to listen to the music. Yeah. But I don't agree. You don't? I would change a different one. Which one? I will change Silver Star. Silver Star is themed to Mercedes or Mercedes oh, Formula yeah. One team. I would change that. Two. I understand with the speed and all of that. I would change it to something completely different. Remove Mercedes, don't have any race cars, do something completely different with the ride. I don't know what, you can do some, some kind of sci-fi. Yeah, I was thinking you different. can do like, like a mountain thing. Yeah, like you could. Like a mountain, you can go, because it goes so high. Yeah, a little bit like, like, uh, Everest. like Exp Expedition Everest in yeah. the Disney World. Yeah. Some, yeah, I would change it to something different. Maybe sci-fi, maybe something yeah. like that. I don't know, but I would, Removes uh, Star Wars. Oh, I was about yeah, to say, why Star Wars? Yeah. I would remove Mercedes from Silver Star. Yeah. That's what I would do. Thank you very much, yeah, Isabel. That's a good that's question. Uh, I would think about it more, but uh, it's really that's hard. the first thing I uh, like thinking about is the uh, Wilbur Mint because I liked it very much, but it, it seemed like it was very old. Yes. I would say. Yes. So they could like do it better. I, I agree so. with you. The trains, yeah. they are not that pretty looking. They look like 
plasticky yeah. and just like it is what it is. Yeah. But the on ride music is fantastic. Yeah, and I it's love that. Just because the ride is so good, you can do the theme in even better. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Okay, so that was the last question from you two. Yeah. The rest of the questions that we have are from Instagram. Yeah. Uh, so I think we will again take a short little break. And then we will uh, answer the questions that we have on Instagram. Okay, I have to tell you, this is probably the best backdrop we have had this far. You saw Valkyria going by. I think you can see, maybe you can see Loki sometimes up there. Anyway, next, next question. This one is from Instagram and from? Yeah. Uh, this is from uh, Costa General. Okay. Thank you for your question. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if I <laughs> should thank him. I don't know the question oh, yet. We'll see if we okay. Okay. Uh, how many fans uh, do you get while being in the parks? Oh, okay. That's a fun question. Yeah. Do you want to start? How many fans? I oh, it's really you, hard. I think you know the. Okay, this one is really, really hard. We have no idea. We know for a fact that we get. Uh, a lot of people stop us, especially when the camera is off, when they see our clothes. When the camera is on, some people are, some people, I will say, are a bit, like, shy? Yeah. A bit shy. And they're just looking. Yeah, they're very much looking, and then when you turn off the camera, some people come up and talk to us. Yeah. Which is really fun. So, a correct number of how many fans we get is very different from park to park. But how many followers did we get on YouTube by being in the parks at our trips? I think we got around 200 in two weeks. We got 100 sub subscribers per week during the trip. And a lot of the people are from different uh, places around the world, so which is really, really fantastic. That, it's so fun, it's so great. Yeah. yeah. It's so, we're so glad. Yeah, we are, and thank you so much for that. Uh, so, again, thank you for the question, Costa General. And uh, should we take one more? We, we can take one more question. Yes, we can. Okay, this is from uh, Jessica Carlson. Oh, my sister, your cousin. my cousin. Uh, which attraction surprised you the most, positive and negative? Oh, uh, positive, yeah. simple. Yes. Surprised you the most. Tikiwaka. Tikiwaka. Tikiwaka was fantastic. Course, it, was. it shocked me. I didn't. I did not expect that. No. It was so so good. And mine was of course the Silver Star. Ah. I have never yeah, of course. It. You've I never been never... on a hyper coaster. No. Yeah. I was like, I never felt that like afraid in the attraction. It is so because such you're a long so time. high up. My feet and my hand was like shaking because it was so up high. I so love that. Like, like it the was trembling. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. That's really, really nice. Negative. Negative. Okay. I need to think about this one. This one is really, really hard. Negative. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I will take a brief pause. Okay, so the negative one. Uh, the, the brief pause was only for me to rest my arm a little bit because I'm holding the camera in this. We couldn't attach it to anything to get this uh, view or backdrop here. But anyway, the most negative one, negative surprise is one. Two, three, bandit. <laughs> it is. Oh my god, it was awful. The shaky, jolty, awful wooden coaster. I was. Not my thing. No, I, w I needed to check afterward if my neck and my back was still there. I yeah. Was like, oh my god, this was so Do shaky. Do I have my oh. insurance card? Oh, yeah. So I can go to the hospital. It's called 911. It was, no. That was not good. Not my ride. No. Not my ride. Thank you very much, Jessica, for that question. And, and Jessica has more questions. And Jessica has next. way more questions coming up next, exactly. And another thing, Jessica is normally on this YouTube channel. So uh, thank you for giving us the questions because you couldn't be here. That's great. So for you guys who watched the food vlog, you know that we uh, cried, Sarah cried a little bit about the uh, logo on the glass. It you, happened again. You again didn't get any logo and I got it. Uh, this is uh, a Cronenberg, it's not a brief blow though. But anyway, you're drinking Pepsi Max. This is product placement. Uh, anyway, but if you didn't watch the food vlog, I recommend you do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's really good. I was working here and doing my sexy with the Pepsi Max. Yeah, you, you did great. Oh. We were proud. Thanks, thanks. Uh, we're back at Beer Garden. Yeah. For more it's, beers. It's a great place to be. Cheers. Cheers. 
Yona is laughing at us. Okay, Sarah, you have yeah. questions from Instagram. Yeah, and we have uh, just Jessica Colson's question. Oh, we have more from Jessica. Yeah, we have. Okay. Uh, it's like uh, four questions. Okay. Left. Yeah. Let's let's do it. it. Okay. Uh, here goes. Uh, what was the uh, hardest thing or the worst thing on the trip? Can I start? Uh, yes, you can. Fantastic, uh, France. Yeah, I know what you po mean. Poop in the garage. Yeah. And you. Then, uh, the story. You do the story. No, you do the story. Okay, I do the story. <laughs> uh, we were parking the car in like a parking uh, house. Parking garage. Parking garage. To, to protect the car. Yeah. Because they park like they do in France. Yeah, they Makes do. Makes sense. Uh, yeah. So uh, we parked the car and go up to our hotel and enjoy they our days. They the cars. So everyone understands. Yeah. Like to get in and out of the parking, they bumped the cars. Yeah. I had a brand new car. They didn't want that to happen. No. So we parked the car, we enjoy our day and uh, we stay at the hotel and today when we go back to the uh, parking garage, uh, we're going to our uh, ground. Like the level? The level. Yeah. Uh, and someone has pooped on the floor of, in front of the door we're going out to. <laughs> Not a dog. Not no, a cat. No. A human being. A human being has taken a, taken a dump. A dump. A big splash. I would call it. Oh, sorry. We have a pregnant no, woman no, that's no, gonna no, throw up. Uh, lovely. Yeah. Lovely uh, by way. Yeah. Uh, and it was awful. And I was like screaming at Christopher. Like, what do I do? What are we gonna do? And she was like, We have to run. We have to run. And I opened the door. And he's run, and I run. And that was the most. I, I thought I was, was going to throw up. Yeah, was completely I disgusting. Throw up the whole way. It was freaking okay. awful. Yeah. So, uh, okay, so thank you, Jessica, for that question. Yeah, because she know what we're going to say. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And we have one more. Okay. Next and one. This is to you. To me. To you. Okay. Uh, Let's hear it. Christopher, what was your favorite water coaster? No. Okay, yeah, I actually have one. Yeah. Super Splash. Super Splash. The Intamin Super Splash at uh, uh, Valley B, Belgium. Yeah. With the bird. It was great. The bird that lived there. Yeah. That is, that is my. Uh, because the power in the launch, and when you went up the spike, you had a little like a strange airtime hum. Yeah. Really liked that one. It was great. Uh, I don't like water rides, you know that. But Okay, that's the one I'm going for. I hate the but water. But we all enjoy when you roll. I know you it do. Was amazing. I know you do, but it was great. Great. subscribe because you like that. It was great. Okay, next one. Leave it. Next one. Uh, your uh, favorite one. Sorry. My I Do you have the same or do you, or you, do you go with any at the uh, Europa Park like Poseidon or uh... No, I would say the same because it was very exciting. I had never rode anything like that. No. Because it was they're very powerful. like going up high and yeah. it was like wow. Yeah, they're so powerful. Much power, so yeah. Much power. It was nice. Um, who has the most? Uh, who had the hardest to come up at the morning? Who was waking up at the morning? Oh, who has the hardest time waking up in the morning? Waking up in the morning. Oh wow! The thing is, uh, I know the answer to this one. Oh, you do? <laughs> yeah, do you, do you I know do. what? Do you know what I say? I would say like this: None of us didn't have really much of a hard time since it was roller coasters yeah. and amusement parks. Yeah, I get that. But I was up earlier. But exactly, yeah. except from that, it was me. It was you. Yeah. Yeah. It I was always yeah, get up it earlier to take a shower, and we, he was still sleeping. Yeah. And I was like coming out of the shower, and I was like, coast today! <laughs> Way! Oh, look, and then you wake up. Like, Woo! <laughs> um, sorry, Wait. intermezzo. Cheers. Intermezzo. Italian. The Italian will be very proud of you. you, you I know. Okay. Uh, and the last question yeah. of this vlog. Yeah. If you did the trip again, what did you have done differently? Oh, but what we would have changed? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a really good question. That's a good question. I have one. Thank you to Jessica. Uh, thank you very much, Jessica. That's a great question. Uh, I actually have one. You say Jessica. 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 Jessica, yeah, Jessica. Vesca. No, Vesca. Yeah, we call her bag. Yeah. 
uh, don't ask us about that in the comments. Feel free to do so, but we're not gonna answer. Uh, anyway, she will, yeah, exactly. Uh, I actually would change one thing. It is that we should have taken the time to go to Wolfsburg to ride uh, Hellenblitz, the, uh, the world's biggest uh, like indoor mobile roller coaster. We, we, we didn't do were, that. No, we're thinking about doing it. Yeah, it we was a 45 minutes drive. Yeah. We should have done that. But we were so tired and we was like, we yeah. have to go to the hotel. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, but that, would you that, do it again? But would you, would you change anything? Would you do the whole trip again? I would do the whole trip again. Would yes. you do at, like, the same kind of trip, but like different places? Yes. Like the same... Tempo. Speed, yes. yeah. Tempo. Yeah. 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 We yeah. had so much fun. Yeah. It was really fun. It was such an experience to do this kind of like speed at the parks. It was so fun. Yeah, uh, yeah it was very fun. Uh, I don't know if uh, we would do anything differently. It was, it was a great time. We had a, yeah. a lot of luck with us. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah. Two coasters on the whole trip. Two coasters yeah. was closed. That was it. Yeah. Two. So yeah. I wouldn't do anything differently because it was it was great. Yeah, it was great. I have one little thing that we haven't would, really I talked about. I would not about. do France again, no. Because you don't want to do one. I would not France. do France again. We have to. We have to. We have. Excellent. I'm sorry, but we have to go to Park Asterix because they're new coasters. Yeah, I want. I want to do Disneyland. Disney World. And Disneyland Island. Paris. Yeah. So we have to go there. But I do have one thing that we haven't talked about. And I just want to mention it. And there's going to be a extra vlog. An extra vlog? From the trip. It's going to be from Park 17 what? out of 15. 17? Do you mean? We are going to release Deepy Joe. a vlog. <laughs> Deepy Joe Park. Deepy Joe Park. Deepy Joe Park. <laughs> Park. Which I think is really, really fun. Um, I leave Deep Dope. <laughs> Deep Dope Park. That two coasters, that Typhoon yeah. and the other one, the small kitty coaster, I don't remember the name. But Typhoon was really good. Yeah. Uh, it's a, I think it's like a six, seven, six, six. Six is six <laughs> in Swedish, so understand me correctly here. Six minute or seven minute long vlog from Deep Dope Park. Deep Dope. Very cute Great park. park. Yeah, Great run park. by. Uh, Never retired people back, but it's great it's no we're never going there again but it was fun it was a great stop and i also have one single last like question slash information for everyone huh? how long or how many kilometers did you drive on the trip oh that's kind of fun did you ride coasters no uh, or the with cars? the car with the car how many kilometers did we drive with the car and i'll tell you this we took a ferry from Gothenburg to Kiel. So we took a ferry from Gothenburg to from Sweden to Germany. And from there we drove to all the parks and then we drove back to Sweden. No ferry back. A little short ferry from Germany to Denmark, but nothing more than that. We drove 4,200 kilometers yes. to be able to make this trip. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you. For following us on our coastal trip. And if you haven't followed us on our coast trip, go back and do so. And, you have it, to... and if you have more questions, don't oh. be shy, please. Feel free to ask them. Yes. We're here. We, uh, we can record another one for you. We would love to do so. Yeah. yeah. You, uh, we will also say that uh, the YouTube, yeah. you are answering the question, and the Instagram, I. That is very. I often. Uh, that is very important. Yeah. On the in Sarah runs Instagram. I run YouTube. Uh, but we also share yeah. both of them, so we help each other out with the channel. Yeah. Uh, also, Sarah, uh, Jonah, and Jessica are helping out, of course. Yeah. And it's we have great. we have something else that we need to say, and it's that we are going or we are scheduling a live stream. The live stream. From Don't miss out on that. And the live stream is going to be from Lisbon, and the live stream is going to be two, three hours long. We haven't decided, but that is only to celebrate that we now have over 1,000 subscribers on the channel, which is fantastic. It's fantastic. Thank it's you so, so much for that. Thank you. That is amazing. Uh, I think we should like finish this off yeah. with a cheer. With a cheer. Cheer. Cool. As Cheers. 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 Cheers.